These are the titles I want to be seeing, especially with how last episode ended. This one's called The Eve of Battle, which makes me think next episode's going to be the battle. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Reincarnated as a Slime, episode 41. That's what it says on Crunchyroll. I just went autopilot right there. Season 2, episode 17. Last episode, we had the ending of the meeting with Ramaris' warning this time. So we know Clayman's up to no good. We know he's going to try to take over Eurozania to become a Demon Lord. We know Walpurgis is coming. We have a lot of things we have to worry about, but we're dealing it. We're dealing with it, thankfully, calm, cool, and collected, and with our new allies. So I have faith that everything's going to get accomplished and everything's going to be okay. I am just very excited. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description, like always, for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon, it's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment on this video, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Let's hop into this. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. Episode 41, or Season 2, Episode 17, The Eve of Battle. Let's do this. What was the number 10k, right? The odds are low. 78 is pretty damn high. Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah. That's what I appreciate. That's what I'm saying. We're bold with it. You guys are my friends. I'm helping you. <laughs> Benny Maru vs. Clayman? I could see how that could be dangerous moving such a big force. So you just gotta put a shield on him. I didn't know that was what the principle of. So there's like an in-between dimension that they kind of go through where they're flooded with magic heals. Well, does isn't that just handy? Raphael, something else. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> That's such a Rimuru answer right there. Normally it'd be impossible, but I'm Rimuru. <laughs> That's my response right there, Diablos. Rimuru's gonna get you there. You just gotta pull your weight, start going ham. I'm excited. The door is still reading manga. I would love to go to Walpurgis, I can't lie. That is a valid point, though. I like that. Okay. That reminds me of the Hokage, the Kage Summit. You bring two people with you, you know, your A and B. I love that. Come on, I want, trust me. I want Diablo to go so bad. I want to see him just unleash, just go crazy. <laughs> I am curious Milim's role in this though, 100%. That's what I normally would believe. <laughs> we were friends with Milim first. We gave her honey. Look at how cute she is, too. That, that is true. That is true. Ranga and Shion. Don't get me wrong. I agree. Protecting the city is very important, but I want to see their reaction to a human form of Eldora. Oh. 
That is such a Veldora role too. The hero that arrives on delay. Like the Goku, you know? I would agree. Trainee's very smart, good judgment, wise, very loyal, has been amazing. No. Yep, we ever need him. We can call him the boy whenever we want. Leon. Yep, we have not seen or talked to him in person. We got Leon. We got Clayman. Oh, I wanted to go through a list of all the demon lords that are about to be there. I wanted it so bad. City of the Forgotten Dragon. This is where um, Yamza is, the middle finger of the five fingers. Hermes, what am I watching, Don Machi? <laughs> so these are Milam's people. This is Milam's area where Clayman has sent his people. So they're mad that they have to cooperate with Clayman, but they have a direct letter from Milam. I didn't know Milam's people looked so dope. They got the fucking dot with like the dragon claw earrings with the fucking dope fits. I okay hermes okay Ooh, speaking of yamza the magic swordsman of ice <laughs> put on the fake charm Wow, he has some patience. Shouts out, that man would work great in retail, I can't lie. That was a he I thought he was gonna maybe like punch him. I didn't think he would straight amputate him. Mid Ray seems very complicated. He seems like obviously he will do Milam's orders and play his part to the ends of the earth. Like deep down, like we know he's boiling mad right now. But the fact that he was able to do that to Hermes, just to say, you know, like even though we hate it, we have to play this part. You know, we have to keep going no matter what. So I. He's interesting. This is interesting. Yamza is super strong. The thing is about this show when it comes to power scalings is even though they so show something like that and make it seem like Yamza and Midray are both very powerful, them compared to the characters we know are probably so insignificant it's not even funny. We can heal that? Holy magic recovery? We can... Okay. That's strong. Midray is very strong. Yeah, see, that's what you would normally expect from, from Midra. Really? I have not seen or heard from Milam since her battle with Carrion. I want to know why she's doing this. Wow, talk about building. He made sure it's safe. So we are really getting all 
Good, good. Phobia, one of Carrion's right hand men. Shout out to Rimaru. Shout out to shout out Gel. Shout out everyone. I know transporting people all damn night. Ten thousand lycanthropes. Awesome. I love how they have like their own banner and flag. Look at these. We got the ten thousand lycanthropes. We got goblin riders. Ooh, look at the ogres. Kurenai. That's fire. We got four thousand hobgoblins. The green. Oh, bro, this is so sick. Five thousand high orcs led by Geld. I love how they have their own little battalions and shit. The dragon newts, known as Hiryu. She owns personal guard. I love their outfits with the purple on them as well. Technically, they have, they outnumber us, but our quality is way over their quantity. Hell yeah, this was all well handled and well planned out by everyone here. A spell on that level transporting this many people looks so sick. Look at that. Oh my god, that looks so sick. Rimuru is too OP. Imagine you're just chilling and then an army of 20 plus thousand just teleports to you instantaneously. Oh my god, that is so sick. That is too cool. Is that how the episode is going to end? This is, oh, this is one of the best setups in fucking slime history for sure. That was, I know I've said it a lot this season, but that was such a fantastic setup episode. I... I'm really glad that one of our issues was the transportation, which we've seen Rimuru transport a couple of times, but it is Rimuru versus everyone else, so it's not really a fair comparison. But with the new techniques that Raphael was able to come up with in terms of transportation, also giving them a barrier, but perfect transportation, also limiting the amount of magic heals that is not only hitting them, but used by Rimuru as well, it's like, works out all, you know, all around. Awesome. I love the plan they come up with. Um, I love the the plus ones being sent with Rimuru and Ramaris as well. We got Beretta, Trainee, and then we have Shion and Ranga. Good choices. Just in case, though, we have this Storm Dragon Summoning spell that we can get Veldora here whenever we want. Also very cool. And then they show a little sneak peek over at Milam's side. I love how they showed that just to say like yes this is a direct order from milam so they're gonna oblige and do what they need to do but they're also questioning milam's intent and reasonings behind this same with same with uh um rimuru they're like hey i don't feel betrayed like they're also curious why milam's doing this but they don't think it's because of how everyone's saying you know like she betrayed everyone and then yamza is an asshole that man is an asshole but he is damn good I mean, mid race seems strong, and he even confidently said, Hermes, you will never best that man. That sword is trouble, plus he is hiding something else. So I need to see him in I need to see him in I need to see him in action, Betty Maru in action, Veldora in action, Diablo in action. I want to see everyone just literally go off. Just nah, go off. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. The next episode's called Demon Lords. I might have to watch it right now. If you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all the dapper darius don't forget to check out patreon if you guys want early access or full length don't you don't want to wait for the next next bunch of episodes <laughs> don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them be safe out there have a great day dapper squad peace